everybody, Jiu Jitsu 2000 back at you. Welcome back. I have two pieces of brass sitting in front of me. Right now I'm in the kitchen in the house. I had a lot of people asking me how I get my brass so clean and so shiny for reloading. So this one on the left, they're both 30 out 6 rounds. The one on the left is a field pickup from my shooting range that I brought in. It had been sitting out there for quite some time. It looks kind of dull in color but that's just to me cosmetic because the brass, the structure of the brass uh, is in good condition. So in this video I'm going to share with you the process of one of the techniques that I like to use to take brass from this state and end up with it looking like this. Now the obvious answer here is of course we could just put the brass in our tumbler. But this video I'm hoping to share techniques that will show you how to do pretty much the same process without the need of a tumbler. I'm going to be setting a few items on the countertop here, items that you might need for this process. First thing is a good uh, towel, so we'll set that towel down. One thing that I like to have is a case mouth brush. Another thing that I like to use is the Lee lock stud and shell holder and make sure that you have the shell holders for the appropriate round. I also recommend a good cordless drill that has a pretty good RPM to it. Something else that I'd like to mention is some steel wool. Steel wool comes in several different uh, courses, you know, like fine or coarse. And in our case, we're going to be using uh, 4 aught, which is the finest steel wool you can find. So, like if I had a number 4 steel wool, that would be a very coarse steel wool but we're using 4 aught. So steel wool is one of the things I like to use. Right here is a piece of steel wool that I was using earlier that's a little bit coarser than 4 aught. If you look at the two, the one here is 4 aught and the one on the left I think was like a number one or something like that. So we'll be using both of those in this video. One more thing that I like to have is just some plain dish soap. Again, a lot of people would say, oh, it's just, it's easy. Just get a tumbler. Yeah, it's, it's true. A tumbler does make the job easy. But that's not what I'm looking to do today. So right now, what I'm doing is I'm taking the lock stud and the appropriate shell holder. Okay? And I'm just making sure that I have the right pieces together. As you tighten the, the shell holder onto the lock stud, it holds the case in position. But to get this this process started, what I like to do first is I like to take my case mouth brush and just gently clean inside the case mouth just to kind of get the case ready to be cleaned. From here I'm gonna start with my steel wool but before I do anything I need to take my drill and open the chuck all the way up and insert the case into the chuck of the drill. Now I'm going to close the chuck. 
looks like it was clutching out on me. So I'm going to close the chuck onto the case. It's important that you don't close this chuck down too tight on the case because if you do, you could dent the case and harm it. So from here, I'm going to turn on a very small stream of water because I like to use water in this process. Water does two things. It's going to keep this case cool and it's also going to help carry out the dirt. Underneath me on the ground, or excuse me, on the floor here, I have a towel because I'm going to be dripping water and stuff as I do this. So I'm starting with a little bit coarser steel wool. This actually happens to be a Brillo, which you can find at your local uh, grocery store. And I forgot to mention earlier, steel wool can be found in, it's easy to find at your hardware stores. Home Depot usually has it, Lowe's, True Value, and in some cases I think Walmart even has it. But if, if you can't find steel wool, go to your local grocery store and find some Brillos. So I'm basically just spinning the drill and running the steel wool on it. You can see that it's already starting to help shine it up. After I spin it for a few seconds, it's good to get this thing wet again. It kind of carries out, it kind of takes the dirt. I don't know if you can see it in the water. I can see it down here, but the water is really dirty that's coming out of this steel wool. And basically what it's done is it's transferred the dirt from the brass into the steel wool and then the water helps get that out. One of the hardest areas to get is right inside here where the extractor groove is. So sometimes you might have to put a little bit of added pressure in that area to get that area clean. So you basically want to do this until it looks shiny to your, you know, until it's shiny enough for your liking. Now if you look at the end here, you can see that the end is not shiny at all. So I'm going to go ahead and clean my steel wool one more time. And I'm going to put the end of this into the steel wool and just kind of push it. Almost like I'm trying to drill a hole. This will help clean the bottom of the case. I think that looks good. I'm going to hit this uh, bottom of the case a little bit more. And we're almost done. So that looks pretty good to my liking. Now technically you don't even need to have this lock stud and show holder. If you really wanted to you could insert the case in this way and just continue on with the brass. But if you look at the brass, you notice there's no dents in it from the chuck of the drill I'm, in, I'm saying. And I want to keep it that way. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lock stud and shell holder. When you insert the, ca the case into this uh, chuck, into this shell holder, you want to tighten it nice and tight. So I'll move my clutch up a little bit. You want to tighten it in very good. Now I'm loosening my chuck. Again, I'm going to clean my steel wool. Wet the case a little bit. And let's go to work on the front. The water dripping is no big deal because like I said earlier, I have a towel on the ground.
one of the hardest areas to clean is the neck and shoulder area right here. Sounds like my battery is about to dry, uh, die, so bear with me. You want that good RPM to get a good result. Once you get the majority of it done with the thicker steel wool, get you some of the finer steel wool and that will help you polish it. And it doesn't take much. Just a small piece, you see? Not much at all. This will help give you that little, that final shine. Sounds like this battery is dead too. It's a good thing I got the job done. <laughs> Whoops, bear with me. <laughs> I'm trying to get this case out. Let me get another battery. <laughs> That's pretty funny. So I've basically taken the case out of the drill. I'm running it through a little rag. Here's the original one and the one in my other hand that was in the rag is the one that I just did. So again this one was the original one and then this is the one we just did. So that my friends is how I clean my cases without the use of a tumbler and you might be sitting there thinking you might be saying to yourself wow this guy goes into depth you know he spends a lot of time uh, just to clean his brass this guy's crazy well my tumbler could do the job you know I could put him in there for a few hours and let him tumble but I pick up a lot of range brass and you only have to do this the first time and to me it's worth it because if you're just gonna load you know maybe a box of 20 to go out on your hunt it's worth it to me it takes what 15 20 minutes maybe to do 20 rounds so the trade-off in my opinion is well well worth it so again I wanna tell you guys thank you for watching my videos thank you for all the kind comments that you've left and I want to tell you please feel free to subscribe at any time and I've got many more things coming to the channel in the future and have a good day everybody we'll see you later bye bye